Yes, you read that title correctly. Uber Eats is launching a new service where they're using robots to deliver your food. As you can see here, Uber Eats is launching robot delivery. The company is partnering with Serve Robotics to offer the service in Los Angeles starting early next year. I will say this, once I start doing this and I hear about it, I'm definitely gonna order food and do like a whole video about it. So this is the robot. I actually saw one of these when I was on the UCLA campus. So as you can see, it's about, I don't know, maybe like, I don't know, like a few feet high or so. It looks kind of a bit like Wally a little bit. And then one thing I will say, they do move kind of slow. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later in this video, but as you can see down here, continuing with the article, some Uber Eats customers will soon be grabbing their lunch from a robot rather than a person. And let's see, uh, going down here a little bit more, the four-wheeled carts travel on the sidewalk and can cross the street and have a delivery radius of three miles, which is actually pretty far if you think about it. A restaurant employee loads the food into the compartment, which the customer can access by entering a code on the touchscreen. Uber is the company's first commercial partner. Going down here now, the company is the second largest food delivery service provider in the US, accounting for more than a quarter of all sales in September of 2021. Going down here, robots are viewed as a way to make delivery more efficient, affordable, and sustainable, and they've been gaining traction all year. Let me know what you think in the comments about this, because I have a, a few mixed feelings. Like I said, I saw one of these robots on the UCLA campus before, and it's kind of interesting, kind of eerie, but one, they moved a little bit slow. So I feel like that, and this is what I was thinking, three miles is a decent distance looking at the speed of them, especially if they're on the sidewalk, right? They're not on the street where I feel like on a sidewalk, maybe it's a little bit slower. They have to deal with more stuff going on. If that makes sense. So I'd be wondering, and what I wonder is, if let's say you were to order food, and let's say that restaurant is 2.5 miles away, is your food gonna get there and it's super cold? That And that obviously, even if it's not the restaurant's fault, they're the ones that might get blamed for it. And as we all know, especially when it comes to delivery services like Uber Eats, DoorDash, any of them, the restaurants do kind of suffer from them because Uber Eats or the other ones are in the middle and blah, blah, blah. So there's, the, the restaurants sometimes get a lot of slack when it's not really their fault. Another thing I'm wondering is what happens if someone tries to tamper with the robot? Now I guarantee they've already thought of this, right? Cause that's what I was thinking is, how do they, they not know someone just tries to steal the food from the robot? Of course, I don't really think that's gonna be an issue, but it is something that did pop into my head. And then the last thing, what I'd be curious about as well is, in terms of people watching this video, do you think this is a sign of what's to come? I did do a video about self-driving cars. I think they are on a different level, right? Self-driving cars for Uber and Lyft, I think we're still, years maybe even decades away from that one from just the logistics of how it's going to work but also two a lot of people just are not going to trust self-driving cars this is a little bit more i think easy to wrap your head around right it's not like you're being affected by the robot per se you just order the food and it gets there pretty much in the same way you just have to type in the code on this but is this a sign of what's to come does this mean for a lot of uber eats drivers out there who like say love doing delivery service, whether it's Uber Eats or let's say Postmates or DoorDash or any other ones, is this a sign that delivery service jobs are slowly going away? Being honest, I don't know because I was even thinking this too. I guarantee these robots are a bit expensive. So that's another thing to consider that how much is Uber Eats really saving? And also to the logistics with the restaurant. Does that mean the, I don't know, again, I have no idea how they're doing this, but in terms of the logistics, so they have to send the robot to the restaurant. Is the restaurant gonna have their own robots there already? Is it like a unique situation similar to like an Uber Eats driver where let's say the robot goes to the restaurant, picks it up, drops it off, goes to a different restaurant. I feel like that's probably the easiest way to do it. But I feel like there's a lot of like little things that have to be done in order for this to be feasible. And the biggest one for me is, is this actually gonna save Uber Eats money? Because as you can imagine, with the speed of the robot, at least when I saw it in, L in UCLA, maybe these robots move a little bit faster, maybe. But the one thing I'm thinking is, I don't think they can do as many orders as quick. Like, let's say one of these robots can do one order an hour. I feel like for most Uber Eats drivers, it might be three orders an hour or four, or whatever the case is. I've never driven for Uber Eats. But that's what pops into my head, too, is are they actually going to save money by doing this? Because it's not going to be as quick. 
and it's definitely not going to be as efficient. I feel like as somebody driving to the place, picking it up, you know, as you can imagine, the restaurant probably has to enter in some code, put it in the compartment when it gets to the person's place. Not only do they have to, like, say, come outside, which before wasn't the issue, because if you think about it before, with Uber Eats, and that's, just, I guess, one of the best benefits of delivery driving for a lot of people, they bring it right to your door, they knock, you pick it up, or they leave it there because of the pandemic. Well, especially in the area I'm in right now in LA, they would not be able to come into my door. So I'd have to physically, you know, maybe put on clothes, like, say, if I'm just hanging out and I'm just wearing sweatpants, I'd have to put on a shirt, go outside, maybe walk down to the sidewalk. So that one might hinder a lot of people being like, oh man, do I have to actually go outside and walk down the sidewalk or walk down the stairs? If let's say you're in an apartment building, there's all these little logistics they feel like might deter a lot of people from liking this idea. And again, that brings me back to that point I just said, where are they actually going to make more money by doing this or lose out on a lot of money and lose out on the potential revenue from this? A lot to see, you know, but they're doing it early next year. And that's why I said that even though, yes, it's a bit eerie to think like these, you know, robots are start taking people's jobs. I think we're still very far away from that. Now, who knows? Maybe in a few decades, it turns into like an iRobot situation where we have physical robots that can, you know, walk around, drive around and get around almost as efficient as a human. But I still feel like we're far away from that, especially looking at, you know, the pictures. Again, it resembled very similar to the one that I saw on the UCLA campus. I just think there's a lot of logistical issues that are gonna come about, but who knows? Maybe it does save Uber money. It is tough to say though. I think there are a bunch of different factors. Like I said, one, the logistics, and two, I think just the human element of just not being able to like say, open your door and it be right there. You're gonna have to go down unless the robots can climb stairs and navigate something that's tricky like an apartment building, right? I mean, I don't know, but it's definitely interesting to see definitely a bit creepy i will say too but it's coming out next year whether we like it or not uber eats 2022 is going to be interesting and i'm going to say this like i said if i can find next time i go on uber eats sometime next year if they are doing this i'm definitely doing a video about it because i'm curious to see what is the robot like how easy is it to get your food is your food gonna be cold or not a lot of unanswered questions i guess we'll have to see